Hello everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I hope from wherever you're watching this, you are having a beautiful day so far. On today's video, I'm going to be sharing something a little bit different than I usually do. If you had the chance to watch a couple videos back, maybe even a couple months ago now, I shared my new Mama Ohm intro for the YouTube channel. And in that video, I also touched on um, what Mama Ohm stands for, where it started, how it's morphed over the past couple of years. So today we're going to be taking a couple steps back into an offering that I fell in love with and um, just kind of left back in Canada while we took this new transition in our lives. But I now have the opportunity to start up another project and I want to show it to you guys. I took on this form of creative expression by hand inking mandala inspired yoga mats um, and I really just fell in love with it and began to create more and offer them in markets and create them for my friends as well. So a friend of mine reached out a couple of weeks back. She was actually my doula when we had Luna and she said, hey, I know you haven't been doing much of these mats, but I'm curious if I can get my hands on a custom mat for a friend's birthday coming up. And after some thought and some situating about the cost and the mat and the shipping and all that kind of stuff, I decided we're gonna go for it. I miss these mandala mats so much, so I was definitely up for the challenge. Um, and I thought, why not kind of show you into the journey of creating one of these mats? Alrighty, so I've cleaned off my space, my nice workspace here. Jerry took the girls up to the park for a little bit, so I have some time to get started. Um, this is the art wall here as you can see so I'm going to lay out my workspace and then I'll kind of explain to you um, how I go from there <laughs> into some shorts because jeans just do not offer um, good range of motion but the mat is prepped now what I did is I laid my own mat underneath of it so that if there is anything on the floor after I've swept and washed it it doesn't get on the customers mat um, so then I rolled out the brand new mat that is going to be worked on I gave the mat a quick wipe down with some lavender thieves and water solution um, just to get any film that's on there off and uh, now I'm just gonna wait till it dries and get started. Oh, and one more thing before we put ink on mat. I always get asked um, if I stencil these. The answer is no, they are all freehand. Depending on the design, how many times I've done it and kind of where I want the final product to go, I will do a bit of a rough draft, but I don't usually offer one just because my rough draft and my finals never look the same. Um, for this specific mat, I did do a bit of a rough draft. I don't know if you can see that. It's gonna be an elephant, oh yeah. So I did this rough draft last night or the night before and I woke up this morning to Luna's little doodle. Seriously, so cute. Um, so she's gonna be an elephant with a nice mandala behind her. Um, yeah, okay, now I think I'm ready to get started. is what type of ink do I use? So I do use an acrylic based um, ink pen from Painters. It is permanent, streak free, streak free fast drying, non-toxic, all that kind of stuff. Um, I've only ever been able to find it at Canada's Walmart um, and Amazon. So I'm not really sure what other alternatives you could use. I have tried a few other ink pens on a few different um, texture of mat. I've had to play around with it a little bit. And I've just found that these ones um, try to stay on the mat even after using it and sweating on it and washing it and all that good stuff. Um, yeah. Just 
give it a good shake. I recommend some sort of test paper to start off with just so you don't get the entire sheet soaking wet. Oh my goodness. Okay, Luna is totally my girl. Um, I always find really cute like drawings in my notepads and stuff. She's such a sweetheart. Okay, so I'm just gonna use this as a test page here. Here's another one, you guys. So the story behind this is that her and Daddy and Lexi went to the store last night and I fell asleep. I napped from like 4 to 7.30. Um, he's the best for letting me do that. And so she had originally had me here, but then she erased me and she said, no, mommy was napping in this episode, she says. So um, that's why I'm sleeping in the bed here. <laughs> anyway, so a test pad of some sort. I used to have extra pieces of yoga mat from when I made kids mats um, and I would just dab on there to make sure but I don't have any cut up pieces of yoga mat right now so paper will do. All right so you get like a good flow going there. Oh, It is ink so it does come out quite quickly. Uh, I do highly recommend like you know testing it out a little bit before you decide to go full out on your on your yoga mat. Okay. All right, first mark is always the most intimidating, but I'm just going to go for it. to make sure that any residue from the ink um, wasn't left and we'll get anywhere. And then I will roll it up, package it up, and it will be on its way to its new home. So as I mentioned before, this was something that I used to offer at markets and on a custom order basis. Um, and it was really nice to get back into some art and some mandala work. So once the... <laughs> Once the uh, mat is in its owner's home, um, they can use it just as they would any other yoga mat. So you can sweat on it, use it, practice on it, wipe it clean, all that good stuff. The only thing I do recommend is that you stay away from lemon concentrated cleaners. If you're an essential oil user, don't use straight lemon on it. Um, and avoid spraying and letting it soak for any length of time. So just spray it down, give it a good wipe, and let it air dry. Alrighty, so the girlies are in bed. The house is kind of tidied, and we are going to sit down for some Netflix. Um, I am going to work on the mat just a little bit more. I have a couple details I wanted to add after taking a good look at it this morning. Um, that's usually how it goes. I keep adding to them.
as I did mention um, yesterday or last night, I wasn't quite happy with the design, so I did put a little bit more into it. And I'm finally happy with how the design turned out. I will show you guys the final product. finished it had time to dry overnight I'm going to give it a quick wipe down um, before I roll it up and package it to be sent off to its new home today as I mentioned before every single design is freehand and created by yours truly if this is something you want to see more of leave your suggestions in the comment box below if you want to see what other designs I have up for grabs I do have a handful of mats back in one of my favorite yoga studios back in Canada um, so if you want to see what is available, be sure to send me a message either on the Mama Ohm Facebook or Instagram and I will let you know what we have available. Um, I hope you guys have a beautiful rest of your week and make sure to take time for your creative expression. Your entire being will love you for it.